Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a not so quick rundown of all of the leftovers from each of the kits that we used during this month's Kit Conspiracy series. We are going to be starting with first week of Kit Conspiracy's kit. It was the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden collection and um, I don't, there's a, there's a little bit of paper left, not a ton. But I'm just going to jump right in here and then I will do a quick re um, recap of the layouts that I made. So I've got a few more 4 by 6 cards, or a couple more, and then the reverse side. A few more 3 by 4 cards. <clears throat> this collage paper, which I didn't really use much of. Um, I used a little bit of this side, mostly for the texture and color, in a title. A little bit of the pinky color this yellow with three by fours which i don't know that i'll ever use that it's really not my style but i might use this and a little bit more of this teal that is i think all that's left of the paper you guys oh one more tiny bit of teal <laughs> and then here's what's left of the stickers which i'm surprised there are actually so many stickers left over but it, we did have quite a few embellishments in this kit so and i feel like i did i did a pretty good job of embellishing like i didn't go minimal on any of my layouts so um, I think uh, this is the just the what was in the collector's essential kit, which is what we started with, and we added a couple of pieces to it. So it came with that sticker sheet. Um, I have a few brads left over, the faux brads, that came with a few chipboard pieces. I used quite a bit of the chipboard, um, but I still have some pieces left over. Um, anything that was referencing home, I did not use because we were not at home. Um, and then it's got the stacked animals back here, the bird on top of the pig, on top of the lamb, on top of the cow, which I used um, that image out of um, on a on one of the cards and as uh, one of the um, essential, what do they call these things? Bits and pieces, sorry. And then some of the images were repeated, so I didn't use them if they were repeated a lot. I didn't want the same image on every layout. So I did not use the family because I was not with family, I was with friends. They are kind of like my family, my scrappy family, but um, I didn't end up using that or home. So I did use quite a few of the foam stickers though, as you can see. <clears throat> this is the farmhouse garden bits and pieces, and this is the farmhouse garden garden bits. And I don't actually even know if they're in the right container, <laughs> right thing. They could be, look, see, they're in the wrong envelopes, which is not a big deal at this point because they've all been gone through 500 times. <laughs> so um, this one has a lot of vegetables in it and I didn't use anything, that, any vegetables really because I, that's not what I was documenting. We weren't on that kind of a farm. Um, Bloom and Grow, Home Sweet Home. I could have probably covered that up but uh, didn't have the need to because there are plenty of other options. More veggies and fruits. Choose Happy. I had like three or four things like this that said Choose Happy that were identical. So I didn't use half of them <laughs> like how many times do you need to put she's happy on a layout oh this doesn't even go with this kit just was on my desk and got stuck in there and um, these say our happy home i've got two of those i don't know why i have two but i obviously didn't need either one because i wasn't at home home sweet home so i automatically went through and cut uh took those out before i even really started embellishing because they weren't something that i was going was going to be using they weren't relevant to the topic that i was um scrapbooking I suppose I could have used like home away from home but I don't even have pictures of like the hotel we stayed at or anything so it wasn't like a, a big fancy hotel or anything so our family um all these little letters that you saw that I didn't use there's a stack of animals I think there were a stack of animals in each one of these yep there and there so I used one of them I did not use need to use both life is better this is part of a part of one of the papers be grateful. I did use a bunch of grateful stuff. I think I used one of those too. Windmill chickens. I didn't really need to use chickens or sheep because I didn't have any chicken or sheep I was documenting. I already had chicken and sheep on my layout from doing the other, um, <clears throat> using other embellishments that had chicken and sheep in them. So pigs, homegrown, home sweet home, sweet home, lots of home guys, home, gather. I used quite a few gathers and I used, um, Butterflies as well, but uh, there were so many butterflies in here I didn't need them. And it's kind of funny because like if I pull out the Alina pack, this could go with these as well. So they're kind of like you could use those embellishments with a whole bunch of things. 
you could mix them up. So that is pretty much it that is left over from this particular kit, which wasn't a whole lot actually. And I think this was actually the kit that I got the most pages done. Now they aren't double pagers, at least I don't think one of them might be, I'm not sure. I can't even remember, it's been four weeks. <laughs> and then washi tape, I have washi tape left over. I kind of forgot I had washi tape until like the very end. So um, here are the layouts that I did. <clears throat> and I still have to do my journaling. And I pulled in wood pieces from MK. So this one's about MK and this cow that decided it needed the milk right now. So that one, that's one layout. This is the first one that I did. And this is that paper that I used for the title that I said I, I only used it really for the title. And there's the stack of animals. So that's two. And there's the washi. That's page number three. And another stack of animals. See, I don't want to put them on every single layout, but it works on a couple. And I've got the brads on this one. This is my double pager. And this is number four. All my friends feeding the cows. And another double pager. That's right, I had two double pagers this week. So this is number five. This was for mixed media mayhem, so lots of mixed media on this one. This is number six. And if you didn't see this one on my channel, it's because I posted it on a friend's channel. And her name is... Uh, her channel name is Kay's Mom, K-A-E-Z-M-U-M. -E and I did post on social media that I... Um, was sharing a layout over there. So if you missed it, you can go over there and check it out. I'll try to put, remember to put the link down below in this video so that if you missed this one, you can go revisit it. I did that for her because she was out having some surgery and um, recuperating time and wanted to keep some interest on her channel. I totally forgot what number we were on here, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is number seven. So I think this is the only week I did eight layouts. And this is number eight. So I was really happy with the amount that I accomplished um, this go around on Kit Conspiracy. I think every week had seven layouts at least, and this one had eight, so pretty good. View of what is left over from my Coco Vanilla Studio No Limits kit that I used for week two of Kit Conspiracy. So this one by far has the most paper left over, which I mean, I'm not sad about. I love their paper, so I'm okay with that. Um, I will start with the solid paper first. So I've got these lovely stars, which I have a whole bunch of them cut out since I had three sheets of it. I love this green as well. This awesome brickwork, which I didn't use this side. I used the orange side and I had two sheets of this, so um, can't go wrong with that. Another one with stars, but these stars are so distressed, they would be very hard to cut out, I feel like. And some of them are kind of funky, like that has six sides to it, but um, this side is awesome too. So, I mean, I like both sides. I used this side of the other sheet because I had two sheets of everything in this kit. This one's called Stardust. This one, I had, I think I must have had three sheets because I did cut some of this up. Um, and this one is called Latitude. And I used some of this stripe, but I only used it in small bits. Oh, there's another one of the stars. So yeah, I definitely had three of these because one of them I completely cut up. And that one was called Nebula, in case you're interested in that. Um, this one is one of the cut-aparts called Universal. I had three sheets of this. I always, well, I try to always buy three sheets of anything that has a cut-apart on it because I want one to cut and I want two for a double page. I don't ever want to feel like I can't cut my um, one of the sheets because I might need it for a double pager. And this one is so versatile because it's very neutral. So it's called Universal and it is very universally um, <laughs> able to be used. This one I actually have portions of. So I had two, I actually had three sheets of this because it was a cut apart as well, but I needed this other corner, which was the start gray for a title. So it's called Eclipse. So I have that portions of that one. <laughs> and here's a little bit more of the other gray one, more cut aparts. Uh, this one by far has the, um, the most paper left over and probably the least amount of embellishments, maybe. So it ha I didn't use a ton of the chipboard, I might actually use this one um, on one of the layouts that I didn't put a title on, but I'm rethinking that I might want to put a title on it. So, and then this is the 12 by six stickers. I used quite a few of the stickers, not so many of the little words. The little puffy stickers, I used some of those, not all of them. Another three by four card. 
more paper to cut stars out of. I'm not going to throw that away because I can use it for the stars. Uh, the other side is also used for stars. Two strips out of a cut apart. I used a couple, actually I used more than a couple of these. I used two with the wood and I used four without the wood. These I'll probably just end up tossing because I, I won't use them like that. Um, and I tend to just pop the epoxy out and use the epoxy. And then this is a lot of the stars that were cut from this paper and then some of the embellishments. And I'll just give you a quick look at what I have left. So that's all mostly stars. There are a couple of big stars in there that were in the embellishment pack, but most of that is stars that I cut out. So we've got some to the moon and back, some good vibes. It's just a phase, total legend, another star. Oh yeah, a label, circular label. I don't know if you can see that as I pull it out. This little one says World Series Knights versus Warriors, admit one, you're the best. Um, it's a circular piece. It looks like it would have baseball stitching or something like that, or a nod to baseball. Um, City Cup Championship, main event, you rock my world, an arrow, a rocket, several lightning strikes, which I try to use, but I always struggle with those. Some pennants, a couple more, be yourself and reach for the stars. These were cut out of the gray cut part sheet. Unlimited, it looks like a flattened bottle cap or something. <laughs> Another just a mixed media looking label, a black one. This was cut out of the gray sheet also. Best kid ever and an arrow. Here's what I did. This one, I think I'm gonna put that piece that said awesome on it. So that is one, and this one has a lot of stitching on it. All around the outside in each one of these lines. And it has tissue paper behind it, so it's kind of crinkly. This one was for Mixed Media Mayhem. Lots of mixed media on that one. And there's that strip of the, it's not really rainbow, but kind of rainbow paper. <laughs> a little bit over here too. <clears throat> Mostly single pages on this particular week. Um, this is uh, one with my daughter, so feminine layout with a masculine kit. Um, more stitching here. There's three, three rows of stitching. So we've got the gray, the gold, and the teal. Lots of mixed media in this week also. This um, paper really screams mixed media to me. So speed bumps. This has got my daughter, my son, and my nephew. This is me, my son, and my nephew writing. I actually need to do the journaling on these. This is um, the tornado and the tsunami. That's the name of the two rides. And this is on the cave train ride at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. More mixed media. Lots of fun there. And then lastly, this one is just of my son's bedroom when we redid it um, when he was like 10 or 11. And so I got to do that. I still have to do the journaling on all, on all of these. I have not, not had time. Well, I had the time that I had, I was sick and I had no energy. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layouts. So not bad. Of what is left over from my Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lakeside Collection, which I used in week three. I have, let's see here. I have one full sheet of paper left, and uh, I believe if I remember correctly, I'm going to say I had two full sheets. because This one I kind of intentionally held to be my last one, and if I got to the photos, I was going to use it, but I didn't get to the photos. But I have some photos from a different trip with the kids in a canoe, and so I thought I would use that for this paper if I got there. But I didn't get there because I did, I think, seven layouts with Simple Vintage Lakeside, and it, that most of them are double pagers. And I'll review those real quickly here too. So I have a little piece of this, a little piece of this asphalt or orange paper, and a tiny bit, little tiny bits of these papers. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of paper left, you guys. It's all just bits and pieces. Odds and ends, I think that's it as far as the paper goes. So. Those will get put into my scrap bin with the exception of the full sheets. They'll get put right back into my, um, just with my papers by color. And then there's this piece, which is the three by four cards. There's a couple extra three by four cards. I don't know if these were cut. See, it wasn't cut out of this one. It's cut out of a different sheet, but um, a couple extra three by four cards. That one, I thought there was one more, but maybe not. Maybe that, oh no, this one, not quite three by four. these little tiny odds and ends. I mean, like that's good for sticking behind photos or something to have it sticking out. And that's the only reason I kept it. But since most of the kit is used up, I'll probably toss it. 
There are two more of the banner stickers and then a bunch of the word stickers and little odds and ends that you could layer with them. So quite a few there actually, but a lot of them are words. And I find that I tend to veer towards putting a lot of words on my pages. And um, I try to kind of refrain from doing that because otherwise I've got words, 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 and not as many um, graphics. I have a lot left in this sticker book. I didn't use much of this at all. I only used one sticker off of that page, none off of that page, two halves and two other labels. Didn't use anything there because there were a lot of these pieces in the other um, ephemera. I only used one piece here. So I've got lots to work with from here. And that's great because I do have a lot of wood grain in my stash. Um, greens, you can find a lot. Of, I have a lot of greens in my stash also. It's pretty easy to find. And I have oranges and they don't necessarily have to have the print that is in this collection on them. Here's a bunch of the chipboard pieces that are left. I used several of the signposts. I just didn't happen to use this one. <clears throat> these are the chipboard clusters. So I have two of those left. I have these two. These two were both used and I have these two. And then there's several of these bits and pieces left. Um, as far as the frames go, there are three frames left. We have this one with the ducks, this double, and I think this one. I didn't have a lot of photos in, I think I had more la landscape uh, photos than portrait. So those are the three that are left in there. Um, this is the pack that has the faux brads and then it comes with some chipboard pieces. And then I stuck this larger piece underneath that says life's better lakeside. I stuck it in there too because I, I didn't have much left in the rest of it so I got rid of the packaging. So several brads left over. <clears throat> Layered stickers, quite a few of those left over. This was a an embellishment heavy kit. There's another strip of the green. I don't think I'll keep that. I'll just stick that in the trash. <clears throat> Here's the sticker sheet. There's a lot left on the sticker sheet you guys. I'm surprised I didn't use more of the sticker sheet, especially this portion down here. But like I said, there's a ton of embellishments in this particular kit. And I have a lot more outdoor photos from scouting that I will use it with. Let's see if I can move this guy up here. These are the foam stickers. A lot of words again left, left over. And I used one of these, but it was probably one of the... Um, bits and pieces that were flat, but it said the same thing on it and same with Explore Nature. So some of the motifs were repeated several times because I, I used one of these, but I used it out of the layered stickers. I used one of the ducks. I used one of these guys. So when they're repeated a lot, I don't tend to gravitate towards them again right away. And then this is the bits and pieces. Actually, this is probably mixed in with, there were two sets of bits and pieces. I can't remember what the other one was called, but one had, um, one had more of the animals and stuff and then this one had like a lot of the phrases and stuff so you can kind of see what's there so I have a lot of that left over but I have a lot of animals left over because I don't know I don't tend to put a lot of animals on mine but I have lots of bear some fish some ducks um, I actually just took some pictures of my dog very interested in some ducks at a pond nearby so I might use them for that moose I don't have any moose pickers, pictures that I can think of unless I go all the way back to um some photos of my of a set geez where were we yellowstone i think and that was um pre-digital so i'd have to go and find the actual photos of them so lots of different pieces a couple different boats home away from home it's a couple mushrooms wood slices lots and lots of bits and pieces here but a lot of it is animals dragonflies frogs flying little moths and butterfly type deals so that is pretty much it for what is left in this kit so i did this one that actually goes this way let's move this out of the way so you can actually see it so there's a, a double pager so that's one another double pager that's two another double pager that's three And another double pager, that's four. And another double pager, that's five. And 
the last double pager that is six and then one single page so seven layouts with this kit which i think is quite a lot especially when they're double pages i got a lot of photos used i was really happy i got this whole trip documented um and it's ready to go in the album now it just needs to be journaled on and i have to actually sit down with my husband to do that because uh, i wasn't there for the entire trip and he was so um i mean i could document just the parts that i was there for but i want to make sure i capture all as much of it as possible Half of what's left over in my kit for alina this is the 49 and market alina kit i have one paper and that'll just go right into my stash and then i have a ton of ephemera you guys look at all of this all of this is left over including all of this so lots and lots of ephemera um i'm not going to go through every single piece but i am going to put it into here and so i'll kind of do a quick show of what's involved here i've got two of these some frames some pieces out of i think these were from yeah these are the back of the paper the um front piece of the paper collection they always print on the back of it so that you get some extra bits and pieces an oval frame another little frame piece the ins well these are not really the inside bits but they look like it more frames trying to get all the big pieces together another large looks like a tapestry type type of a pattern or leather working or something another um, piece of printed text this was also part of the back of the front page of the um, laser cut elements so it has a whole bunch of things that you cut apart like this in there and such that's another one this this is part of the laser cut elements parts i didn't actually punch out a couple of really big florals and then these were in the laser cut elements um, these are branding strips that are still perfectly usable I just didn't use them. They're not going to fit in there, so I'm going to stick those with my branding strips. Normally, I don't like take the whole collection apart until I don't have any paper left. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take all of this apart or not, or if I'm just going to keep it all together because I know kind of what is in here with regard to color-wise. More florals. Um, there's several little florals down in here. Another one to cut out. You can see them all kind of hidden. There's a word here that says sweetest. That's kind of delicate some more frames it looks like uh, photo frames or negative frames tags or tickets where you can put mark the date little words more words labels lots of tabs and labels going on here so you stick all of this in here and more labels these are rub-ons of butterflies uh, this rub-on lost its backer See if we can get that together. We want the rub-on backings to stay together so that you don't end up with rub-ons on everything. Leaves, florals, a lot of butterflies, more labels, another one of those elasticy looking thing, lots of tabs here, some little word phrases, beautiful moments, choose happy, and hello happy, stay close, a, t um, a tag, tickets, more butterflies, Another rub-on, admit one, more tabs and butterflies, that heart is from something else, that's another rub-on, and then some leaves, so I'm going to get all of this all bundled up together, there's a couple of little um, faux metal pieces, so way more embellishments than I actually used, that is all that's left with Alina, and then I'll do a quick show of the layouts that I made, so this was the last layout I made, this one was a mixed media mayhem layout as well as Kit Conspiracy. This one has the window in it that I love how it came out. My Moulin Rouge layout, this one's gonna have a foot flap on the outside of the page protector. Look at the sparkle. I love the sparkle of the you can see it in the corner there. It's so pretty. Lots of mixed media on this one. More sparkle on the edges there. That one has very minimal um, embellishments. And a double pager. And that was, and then this one that says exhibit. This is, um, this was actually the first one that I made for the entire thing. 
Look at all that sparkle. So pretty. And I brought in the gold up here, and that's why I did the gold sparkle over here. So those were the layouts that I made with that. So all in all, that's one. If you count the double page as a single, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layouts. I hope you guys enjoyed the recap of all of the kits I used for Kit Conspiracy. I think I'm going to try and use more of these kits combined um, in December when I am not using my December uh, Christmas kit. So come back and check it out and see what I can get done throughout the month of December. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.